Hello, random user here. We're back playing Arm Wrestle Simulator. Uh, here I'm in the Dino World, but I have unlocked the next world, level six, brand new world that just came out today. It's called Void World. And uh, as you can see, in order to be in this world, you need to defeat the Mammoth, uh, and the Mammoth is over here. And if you're not in Dino World yet, Mammoth is gonna be pretty tough to beat. You're gonna have to grind for a while. And you also need two SP wins. I've got 6.7 octillion here, so a lot more than that. And I have been in the dino world. I was grinding here earlier. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick tour. So we've got, uh, it's everything is in just kind of like a circle here. So let's take a look here. They've got a section here for training, a section for fighting, a section for collecting eggs, and then the, the least used section here is going to be PvP here. All right, before we get to the enemies, let's go take a look at the reward. So let's go take a look at the the most valuable egg here. So 100 SP per hatching of this egg. We can see that the big one, we're not interested in the other ones. We're only interested in the big one here. So this is Beacon and 0.0001% uh, chance. Um, I believe that's a one in a million chance here. Uh, so pretty tough to get the Beacon here. Uh, if you do get Beacon, what I recommend what I recommend you doing is to equip a set of pets that have the winner winner enchantments here. So let's take a look at the pets that I have here. So you can see all these have winner winner. This one's got winner winner five and you want to equip as many pets as you can with winner winner enchantment when you fight the the bosses in this level here so that way you get the most um, the most number of wins here and you want the highest level winner winner enchantment that you can get so if you can get winner winner five or winner winner six try to get a whole team with winner winner five or six uh, these enchantments are pretty hard to come by so you have to grind for a long time to get winner winner five or six and even for me i only have winner winner two and three on most of these i do have some five and sixes here as well uh, but anyways all right, so now that we've taken a look at this egg, let's go and take a look at some of the uh, let's take a look at some of the the bosses here that we're gonna have to go fight here. I'm really not interested in those other eggs, uh, but if you're trying to grind to get all the all the eggs, go for it. Um, and by the way, there is some kind of bug here. Let me let me turn off my pets. Let me turn off my pets so you can see. Uh, the numbers here. So there is some kind of bug here that I'm going to show you. So you can see that I've got 3.5 SX wins. Uh, if I try to fight the Orenthian, I'll go ahead and do auto fight Orenthian here. Uh, for some reason, it downgraded me to 71.7 QI. I really don't understand that. And um, I can't beat this guy for some reason. Um, anyways, I haven't tried these other intermediary people. I went straight to this boss here. And when I fight him, uh, everything is correct here. Um, and I do have an auto clicker working in the background here. Uh, if you're on PC, I always recommend having an auto clicker because it's faster than the the built-in auto click. And you could see that I've got 3.5 SX wins there, uh, or strength, I mean. And let me go back to the. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one more time. We'll do we'll do a fight on cybernetic one time, and let's take a let's let's take a note of the number of wins that I'm getting out of this. Um, all right, so we're gonna let this one win. All right, 2.150 um, to the 10 to the 25, 2.150. Now let me equip, uh, let me actually, I'll equip my other team, my Zeus team here. Uh, this is a whole team of Goliath Ghost Zeus pets here. Uh, these, these pets are really great for when you're training, but the problem with these pets is that you cannot put any enchantment, you know? It's already got the exclusive and void, so you can't put winner, winner, or lucky there. Um, so that's the problem with those. But let me go ahead and try this so we can see the, the difference in that number there. It was 2.125 uh, times 10 to the 25, if I recall correct. So now we'll see it's 5.4 times 10 to the 24. So a significant drop in wins there. So that's why whenever you're fighting, always equip your team that has the winner winner enchantments to maximize those wins. All right, we got 6.7 octillion wins here. So let's go ahead and start hatching some eggs here. Let's see if we can uh, some, somehow be lucky. And then on that topic, so uh, right now I've got my ghost pet team. What I want to do now is go ahead and equip my lucky team here. So I've got a team of 35 pets that have lucky enchantment. Uh, most of them are lucky three or above. That will maximize your luck. So whenever you're hatching eggs, you always want to equip your pets that have the lucky enchantment there to maximize that. Let's go ahead and start opening some eggs here. We'll do eight at a time. 
All right, Solstice, and I think uh, with with the luck that I have on this account, as well as the anim as well as the pets, I don't think I'm going to be getting these three. I think I'm only really shooting for these two. Uh, we'll probably see a lot of Solstice here, so this is probably going to get pretty boring, I think. So let's go ahead and keep doing this. Um, I might even do. Um, Oh, they don't have an auto hatch button here. Oh, I need more pet storage. Okay, all right. So let me craft everything, create a little pet storage here, and then we'll kind of continue on. Let's go ahead and do another eight. And we should have enough for a few more kind of hatches here. Um, each one is 100 SP. I've got two, I've got 1.9 octillion here. So we've got, a, we've got a good number here, but not really a giant number. So I don't expect to get beacon here, but uh, you never know. Um, all right, so I can no longer afford eight eggs. I need more pet storage. Let's go ahead and craft all. And we have not been very lucky. Uh, well, you know, we got the solstice here, but the beacon is really just uh, very kind of hard to get here. So, uh, like I said, one in a million chance. And even with, even with all the lucky, lucky enchantments and whatnot, it's just uh, it's still going to be a pretty tough time here to get the the beacon here. Let's go ahead and take a look at those pets that we got. So we got all solstice. All right, so we've got the baby solstice coming in at uh, 350,000, and then we've got the, that one's huge. Where's the, we don't have a big one. You know, I should have not crafted everything too big. But anyways, I think big would be, um, big must be probably 550,000 around there somewhere. And then we've got huge. And then I think we could also turn these into Goliath as well to then go ahead and increase the, uh, <clears throat> to then go ahead and increase that number as well. All right, so uh, let me talk, let's talk a little bit about the training here. So for the hand strength, um, when I had first came into this world, the only one that I could equip was the, was the very first one. And this goes off just grip strength here. And the requirement is actually pretty high. I think it was, I think it was like uh, over one QI. So odds are you're gonna have to work your way up that hand grip there. Um, I would totally avoid the the knuckles and let me show you what I mean by that. So when I do hands You can see I'm getting uh, 300 trillion, but let me go put the right team on here. So let me equip my Zeus pets So now we can see I'm getting 4.6 QI for each kind of time that I do that on the hand grip If I were to then go to knuckles, we can see that uh, here. I'm just getting 425 trillion. So that's way less uh, than what we were getting on knuckles and with bicep we get two QA and uh, It's the same kind of situation as with the hand strength here You have to have a certain level in order to to use this 21.6 QI just in bicep strength here, so um, I can't even try the barbell So I'm not really sure what numbers those are coming out with but I would expect the barbells to give pretty good numbers here based on uh, Some of the other worlds that I've worked that I've kind of uh, played through here all right, so that is really about it. So let's go ahead and zoom out, and then we'll take like another kind of overview here. So this is your new world, level six, Void World. And that is it for today. Definitely do not forget to like and subscribe. And if you find me in a Roblox game, um, you never know. Maybe you'll get some free pets uh, or arm and then go from there. So definitely do reach out to me in Roblox if you see me there. And uh, have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.